falling back in love again Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Devil Cube and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Uh, before we get on with the tutorial, I just wanna mention that I just reached 2000 subscribers on the channel. It's a big achievement for me uh, and I would like to thank all of you for supporting me, you know, asking for feedback, questions, tutorial requests, uh, you know, being active on my Twitter and my YouTube as well. Uh, so as a thank you, uh, I'm giving away a monogram giveaway. So it's actually a Twitter giveaway so you guys can follow as well. If you guys have a Twitter account, all you gotta do is go to the link in the description, click on the Twitter link, the tweet. All you gotta do is follow me, uh, retweet it and tag anybody else. Um, who you wish to uh, to enter the giveaway and it's going to be uh, till 31st March 2017 so I'm going to be giving away a very good giveaway because you guys are going to be waiting for so much time for the uh, winner so uh, that's pretty much it so let's get on to this tutorial so in this today's tutorial we're going to be learning to create a beautiful neon stroke logo I don't know what else to call it so as you can see on the thumbnail on the screen that's what we're going to be creating so this is actually uh something which i found on dribble that's where i get all my inspiration from so i'm going to be almost recreating the same thing with a different letter so uh, let's get started so here i am in a new document and uh, i'm going to start off by going ahead and clicking on my text tool and i'm going to go and type the letter n and i'm just going to go press ctrl t and i'm going to scale that up and i'm going to center that so if you guys uh, want to know any questions on how I use the shortcuts and you know how I you know make things faster by using the shortcuts, um, you guys can just comment below and you know I'll probably answer them. So here I have the letter N, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new layer. Let's zoom up, zoom in here, and I'm going to press P on my keyboard to get the pen tool, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, sketch out uh, you know different parts of the letter N. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, do that and once we have that I'm gonna press Control enter and that's gonna create a selection and with the marquee tool selector and on the new layer I'm gonna right click and choose stroke and I'm gonna go probably set the stroke to around 7 and give it this nice blue color and I'm gonna click on OK make sure my location is inside and click OK and if I hide the end we see we get this nice stroke and I'm gonna press Control D to deselect and now once we have that let's make a copy by pressing Control J and I'm gonna to go to uh, image, sorry, filter, blur, and choose a Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna go set the Gaussian blur to 10 pixels. Let's try 15. Now I think 10 is good. And I wanna click on OK. And once we have that, we're gonna take the the first layer, and I'm gonna duplicate that. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this, and set the color over, set this color to white. And then I'm gonna rasterize this, rasterize layer style, so we have a white and a blue layer. All right, so once we have that, I'm gonna take the white layer, put it on top, and we have the glow layer here. And then with this white layer selected, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and probably give this a little bit of, you know, like three, uh, okay, not too much, probably two will be good. Click on okay, and I'm gonna go and set the blending mode of this to overlay. So now we have this beautiful neon uh, you know look and probably i'm gonna go reduce the opacity of this one to 70 percent because i don't want it to be too bright uh probably 65 would be good and then i'm gonna go just select part and delete off everything so i'll probably select these two layers and press e to get my eraser tool okay i need to select one by one and uh for now let's you know i'm just gonna go rub off this area and probably this area Right, and let's do the same thing here. We're gonna go and delete off this area and uh, probably this area. And make sure you're on a soft brush so the hardness is set to zero and we can go ahead and just, you know, get rid of all these things. So it's nice glow. Maybe you can go and set this back to a hundred. So maybe that gives it a little bit more cool glow. We can delete the Gaussian blur layer as well to give it more glow, which is pretty cool. Here is the opacity of this down to 70. All right, that's looking good. Now let's get our layer back on and we can hide all this so we can select all this Control G to group them and name this one. Let's do the same thing. Oh, let's actually duplicate this. So we have a copy of this. Let's turn all these on. All right. And uh, we can just move these up to this side because it's the same letter. Okay. And uh, Okay, now let's go ahead and hide these two. Let's do the same thing for this part of the end. So let's press P on my keyboard. Let's go and uh, grab this. We can move this down. 
right? Let's click here, hold down shift so that it snaps properly vertically. And uh, we can move this up, all right? And we can click on this and we can click on this. And now let's hide this layer and create a new layer. And uh, with this, uh, with the marquee tool selector, right click, choose, uh, right click, oh sorry, control enter to make a selection, right click, choose stroke, same settings, click on OK, Control D to deselect. Let's duplicate this once. Uh, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, same settings. Oh, we want this to be 10. Click on OK. Make a copy of the original layer. Then we're going to go and change the color of this to white with the color overlay. White, click on OK. Sorry if it's going out of the screen. Click on OK. Let's right click and choose Rasterize Layer Step. Put this on top, set the blending mode of this to Overlay and uh, go to filter blur gaussian blur set the pixels to two and there we go uh, i'm going to probably rub off uh, some stuff so let's go ahead press e let's rub off stuffs like so and probably something like this like so let's do the same thing on this one so delete all this we don't want all this stuff just little light stuff uh probably uh let's see the settings for this one so 70 percent all right, so we can duplicate the bottom layer and probably reduce down this to 70. And uh, let's put everything back on. And now we have something that looks like this. Let me group this as well. Control G. And we can call this 2 probably. And maybe this is 3. So let's put them in order. Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, we want to go ahead and just rub off some of the stuff which, you know, we don't require. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these three. I'm going to press Control G. Control J to make a copy, and I'm going to call this backup in case I need it. I'm going to just put it down, build everything, and just hide it. So now we have this one, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and rasterize all these by right click and choose, okay, right click and choose merge group. Let's do the same thing, right click, merge group, and right click, merge group. So now you have three different parts. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eraser again and uh, this one is on the left side so I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of uh, depth. So I'm going to select the second layer which is this and I'm going to go ahead and just start rubbing this off right you know just go ahead and rub it off. So you know we kind of giving it a you know the feel that you know this is pretty much a little bit behind this and uh, let's make this a little bit bigger and just click away and give it a nice depth. Let's actually control Z that and do that from scratch. Probably from here, let's zoom out and just, oh, we want to set the opacity of this to 100. Yeah, uh, oh, oops, sorry, I'm on the long, wrong layer. Uh, yeah, set the second layer and just go ahead and start rubbing these off. Just click. Yeah, that looks much better, much better. Uh, we we'll select the third layer now and uh, we can go ahead and start getting rid of these. Yeah. That's looking even more better. Looks really good. I mean, it looks really good. I like it. So now once we have all of this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color overlay of this to, let's say, let's actually hide the bottom one. Double click color overlay. Probably can set this to a yellow color. Right? Ah, oh, looks really good. And I'm going to turn this back on. So with this layer, I'm going to just move this up to the top a few pixels and a right a few pixels, right? That's looking really good. That's that's like a that's like a really cool logo. And it looks amazing, right? Something like that. And now what I'm going to do is with this group, I'm going to go select each of these again one by one. So let's take a look at this one. Let's press E and what I'm going to do now is reduce my brush size. And I'm going to go ahead and just rub this off. So we kind of giving the feel that, you know, it's going from the bottom and it's coming back on top. We can do the same thing over here. So we can probably, you know, just click over here. Yeah, that's looking way better. Let's do the same thing with this one. So, uh, yeah, that's looking good. That's nice. Let's actually go ahead and undo that. We can go to our blue set, select the second one and uh, probably rub this off. Uh, yeah, like so. 
that's even more better. Uh, here we can go ahead, let's see, uh, I think I'm gonna leave this one like so, and uh, come here to this blue color and get rid of this. Yeah, that's, that's, that's much better, that's much better. Um, here we have some issues, so let's just clean that up. Go to the yellow one. Nah, this one. Yeah. Just looking good. Wow, uh, this is looking pretty cooler than I, ex I expected. Uh, let's see, we have some issues over here, so let's just clean this up. Press E, and uh, uh, we want to erase the blue one. So let's like the blue color one. Just click over here. Yep. And uh, the yellow one, which is number two. Let's just clean this up. Yeah. Anything else we gotta do? Uh, here we can fix this up. So I'm gonna go to the yellow one this time and just delete that. Okay. That is looking really cool. Let's actually not do that. Let's remove the black, the blue one. So select the third one, delete that. And yeah, awesome. So we have this super cool neon logo effect. It looks pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty much it, how we create all this stuff. Let me see if we can do something else. So let's probably group these two. Let's close this up. Uh, we can make a copy of that. We can rasterize them. We've got filter, color overlay, set this to a white color to give it an overall glow effect. Okay, and set the blending mode to overlay. We can right click and choose rasterize layer style. And so the blending mode to overlay and uh, go to filter blur Gaussian blur. Let's give it a you know something like ten or probably twenty. I don't know. Is it, is it making some difference? But probably it is giving a little bit of difference. So yeah. So then we can select all of this. Control G, group them into a group. Control A to select and move them vertically and horizontally. And uh, there we go. That is looking pretty pretty cool. So uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you know, I hope it, you know, you guys liked it. Uh, if you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.